Good afternoon, people of the YouTube. This is Gunther von Strassenhof here, and I would want to welcome you to the extrapolator. Cool. The people have asked me to do a play-by-play -play of the recent clan war that these people are busy with, this glory vomitory uh, clan. So I will be entering the clan war which is currently busy. This is the clan war map, okay, for the war map. So Mr. Freaky asked me to just show you one of his attacks and then also maybe one of the attacks against his base and then maybe talk about a few of the pretty little attacks that these peoples in the clan war has made. So just let's go quickly to his base, dump it to five, six, and let's see, there was one attack which was not successful. So let us take a look at the progression of this attack. I will speed this up by two times. He dropped his queen, he dropped his king, but he also dropped the, the, the big boys. He then left us here in the scary places with the hawk riders, but then also he deployed quite a few dragons. You can see there, the dragons really had a tough time going into the raid spell and the healing spell. But now what is very interesting is to see what happened, what his air defenses has been doing. They have been demolishing these poor little flying floating lizards. Very bad, very bad deployment, very bad strategy, not really thought out. And look at that poor little lone little archer working on the walls. No, very much a choke, like Freaky would say. Such a choke. <laughs> and a joke, I must tell you. Then let's look at one of the attacks in this place. One of Freaky's attackers, or targets as they say, is AIDS. Now he attacked AIDS and I will I'll let him explain to you how he attacked and take you step by step through that. So I will give it over to Freaky so that he can explain to you how he attacked this base of this person called AIDS. It's always good to fight AIDS. Always three star AIDS, okay? Three star them. Thank you. Right, so here we've got AIDS, huh? My friends, I'm telling you, this one is built like the virus, huh? Look at that, what he did around his town hall. He protected his nucleus with his freaking storages, gold and elixir, and this stuff's HP is massive. You can check there, 2000. So by the time you get to the nucleus, your boys are, are just shot to shreds. I want to show you my replay, huh? I attacked AIDS. I attacked them like we should all attack AIDS. But look at this. What I did was, I tried to pull out his clan castle troops. Let's check that. Then I want to clap him with like a lightning strike, eh? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. Lightning strike killed my little wizards. Took out most of his wizards. Then what I did, I'm going to speed this one up. I split my dragons up. I did all dragon attack thinking that AIDS can't stand dragons. Level 3 dragons full on attack. But my boy's AIDS prevailed. You'll check now. Huh? Yo, this thing is built like a flippin' tank. But look at that. Nah? I took out the nucleus of AIDS. Huh? Almost thought I eradicated this virus, bro. But look at this. Look at this. Those air defenses got the better of me big time with that tesla tower look at that look at that yes so oh man so we could only two star aids huh? i'll show you some more clips on aids attacks if someone else in the war attacks aids but my boys we all must stand together and attack aids and make sure that this flippin evil is eradicated from this world huh? be back now so thank you very much, Fricky, for that beautiful discussion of showing how you attacked.
Now I would like to show you another one of our three stars that showed a very good uh, strategy for attacking with the dragons and the balloons. Trigger 85 did a three star on this base of Chnumo. <laughs> Chnumo. I don't know how to say this Russian names. It's very difficult. So let's do. He deployed his dragons first, taking out the clan castle, and then he deployed in a row the, 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 the balloons. But look at what he did here. He threw down a healing spell and two very good, well-placed red spells to push those balloons into the middle of the map and as well as helping his dragons to enter into the middle of the base. Wonderful tactic. Taking out the air defenses, not really worrying about the air defenses because it's already pushing into the base. He still has his clan castle troops, which he just now deployed with a one clan castle troop of the balloons. Taking out the mortar. Let's see, he didn't yeah, he took out the mortar with the clan castle troop uh, dragon. Then you can see the uh, the, the, the defenders um uh, what do you call them? The little skeletons going down to this little poor little... Watch out, goblin! Watch out! Watch out! He, the poor little goblin died a horrible death. But it's okay because we have two dragons left to clean up the rest of this base. I will now fast forward and show you just quickly what the dragons do. And they are very slow. You must watch out for dragons, especially in the clan war. Because they might have to fly through to the later, um, uh, to the far units. And look at that. Just in time, they got the three star with his loot bonus. Well done, trigger 85. Wonderful. Here we have the attack from little minion, little minion. It is a beautiful all dragon attack. What you can see here, deploying the dragons. In a nice row, speeding it up. Dragons take care of the clan war castle troops. He has in her um, clan castle, she had also the Pekka. Impeccable uh, spell placement, wonderful spell placement, keeping the dragons healthy in the middle. Wonderful, wonderful. Ensuring that the dragons are not taken out by the air defenses and also ensuring that the dragons stay in the middle of the base. Other dragons very well uh, spread out to take advantage of the whole map. And then as we get to the end of this attack, you can see that the dragons are working perfectly together to move to the left side of the base and helping those little barbarians taking out the last structure. Well done, well done. Three stars for us. Yo, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. We have come to the end of this clan war. It has been a very successful clan war. As you can see, many of our players have used up both of their um, attacks. We have not had anybody not attacking, which is good because that is the team player that we are looking for. The final score... 83 stars to 66 stars. Wonderful, wonderful play for the YZ people of my clan. Now what I want to show you is the most heroic attacks. One of our people, Kuni, did a very, very good attack. And we will do a replay of Kuni's attack. This has been a beautiful attack where you can see there the Jukuri is going for the classic go wipe attack, where he first deploys his two golems, followed by the little wall breakers to open up some space for the um, golems to 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 go into the base deeper into the base. He then follows it up with the wizards. Because you know, as I've, uh, as, as as I and some other people have also explained, is the bigger HP uh, units like the golems or the giants, they are the meat shields. Then for the smaller units like the stronger wizards, they are being taken care of because all the defensive structures is focused on the golems 
and there comes his giants. Here comes the clan castle troops, and he has also deployed his two um, packers. The packers are strong, so they will take care of the um, the clan castle troops. And there also you can see there the die giants and the other units has already started breaking through into the center of this map. It's wonderful. You can see here. You see the crossbow. The expo is focused on that strong, strong units, not focusing on the smaller units. Here you can see Kuni has deployed his red spell to help this little bundle of wizards to break through and take over this part of the map. Unfortunately, you can see that the placement of this uh, red spell did not cover the entirety of the middle of the map. It's not a problem, because you will see now that these same wizards are getting a little bit of taste of the rage, taking out the clan castle, adding one star. All we need now is two more stars for three star, but this tech will not get a three star. But as you can see, the unit is going to work on all these defensive structures. I'm going to speed it up and you can see we have got the one star. Well done, Kony. Wonderful, wonderful attack. Thank you very much, boys and girls, for visiting. Thank you for the beautiful team that we have that has played together. And remember, whenever you have finished a clan war, do not forget to empty your clan castle of your clan loot, your castle war loot. Use it wisely. Have a good day. Alvida Zain.